All right, in this video, we're going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to have the integral of 1 over tangent x plus cotangent x dx. Basically, it's going to involve a lot of um, trig manipulation, some substitutions, things of that nature, before we can finally get down to where we can do a u substitution on our integral. Now, first off with the tangent, cotangent. Um, granted, you could go ahead and put reciprocal identities in there like 1 over cotangent, 1 over tangent, but in all honesty, that really doesn't help a lot. I find most often that if we've got a tangent and a cotangent, it really does help to go to the uh, sine over cosine and cosine over sine replacements. It just tends to lead to more different variety of substitutions that we can do there. So if I replace both of these with what they are equal to on those quotient identities, I'm going to have a 1 over tangent is going to be sine x over cosine x. And then we'll have plus, since they are reciprocals of each other, then that cotangent will be cosine x over sine x dx. So that's the first substitution I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this denominator, and I'm going to want to add them together. So I need to get common denominators. This fraction will need to be multiplied by sine x over sine x. This one will need to be multiplied by cosine x over cosine x. So changing that, the 1 will stay in the top. That will give me, if I multiply this by sine x over sine x, I'll have a sine squared x. Multiplying this one by cosine x over cosine x will give me a cosine squared x in my numerator. And then that's going to be all over that cosine x sine x and then dx. All right, now from there, this is a uh, complex fraction. All right, so I can multiply through by my least common denominator and get rid of that complex fraction. So I'm going to be doing that in the next step. So we'll have the integral of cosine x sine x in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we will have sine squared x plus cosine squared x dx. All right, now hopefully at this point you recognize that this denominator here, sine squared x plus cosine squared x, that's a Pythagorean identity um, that we know is equal to 1. So sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Okay, so hopefully that you've got in your book of tricks. So we can replace that, put that over 1. Well, as soon as I put that over 1, then really I just have the integral of cosine x and then sine x dx. So we are now finally to a place where this becomes a straight nice little u substitution. All right, because my derivative of sine is going to be cosine, so it's going to cross out really nice. So we're going to let u equal sine x. Taking the derivative of both sides, du is going to be cosine x dx. Going ahead and solving for dx, we'll have du over cosine x equaling our dx. Okay, so from there, we will replace, we'll keep our cosine x, we'll replace sine with u, and we will replace the dx with du over cosine x. That's going to allow the cosine x's to cross out. And then we're going to have just a nice little integral of u du, and that just in integrates extremely easy. Let's see, add 1 to our exponent, which is going to give us a 2. So we'll have a 1 over 2 u squared plus c. Now we can replace that u with what it is. It's going to be sine x. So then we'll have a 1 half sine squared x plus c. All right, as with um, almost any trig integral, you're going to have to do lots of different substitutions. And on this one, that tangent and cotangent works really, really nice if you go to these quotient identities of sine over cosine, cosine over sine. Um, definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.